the Nintendo DS has brought about a wave of games geared towards exercising your mental muscle. Brain Age, Big Brain Academy, Brain Assist, the list goes on. But now that you've gotten your brain into shape, it's time to run a cerebral marathon with Professor Layton and the Curious Village, a collection of more than a hundred brain teasers, all hidden within a town full of even greater mysteries. Every puzzle has an answer. <laughs> The tale begins as Leighton and his apprentice Luke drive towards the remote town of St. Mystere in response to a request from the widow of a wealthy baron. The baron's will indicates that the family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within the village, and whoever finds it will inherit the whole of the Reinhold estate. On behalf of Lady Dahlia, the professor and Luke must search the town for clues leading to the precious heirloom. As the duo question the puzzle-obsessed populace, they'll encounter a number of other mysteries along the way. A murder takes place in the Reinhold mansion, citizens are kidnapped in the night, a shady villain stalks the professor, This isn't over yet, Leighton! Just you wait! And an ominous rumbling tower stands at the center of it all. The village's secrets keep players pressing through the toughest challenges, and every character is brimming with personality. The game recaps recent events whenever you continue, making it easy to pick up after a few weeks of absence. And there are journal entries from the professor on every plot point as well. The story presents a charming, family-friendly tale of mystery and intrigue that players of all ages will enjoy. Based on the head gymnastics books by Professor Akira Tago, Professor Layton and the Curious Village brings together more than a hundred brain teasers to flex your critical thinking skills. Rather than just dumping the challenges into a simple list, Level 5 introduces puzzles through conversations with the villagers or by discovering them in the environment. Sometimes putting puzzles in context can seem a little silly. Even a grimy jar on the side of the road reminds the professor of a puzzle, but overall, the hunt for new challenges is part of the fun. Some puzzles need to be unearthed before you can progress to the next chapter in the story, but if you miss any, you can find them at Granny Riddleton's shack in the center of town. It helps to complete them all as you're often rewarded with objects needed for extra challenges. Rewards include gizmos, which simply have to be located and assembled, painting scraps that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, and furnishings, which will have you playing decorator, determining which items fit better in Leighton's hotel room, and which are more suited to Luke's tastes. In addition to the multitude of puzzles within the main story, there are additional puzzles available for download each week. They're a great way to extend the life of the game, but it appears that the extra puzzles are already included in the game card, and players simply download keys to unlock them, which is more than a little off-putting for those without Wi-Fi internet capabilities at the ready. The menu also includes a top-secret area with bonus content for players who buy the sequel, which will likely see a release date later this year or in early 2009. There are enough challenges on offer to keep players scratching their heads for hours on end, and the unique way that they're hidden within the town adds a sense of adventure to the problem-solving gameplay. Critical thinking is the key to success. <laughs> Leighton's puzzles draw upon a number of different facets of observation, logic, and critical thinking. Solving puzzles may be as simple as turning numbers upside down or involve multi-step processes of shuttling wolves and chicks across a river. Having a notepad handy will undoubtedly help, and some puzzles let you scribble on the screen to work them out. Many of the game's brain teasers fall into the you see it or you don't category. A whole group of your friends may stare at a matchstick puzzle for 30 minutes before one of them finds a solution that seems all too obvious in hindsight. Each time you start a puzzle, you'll see the score it's worth, measured in picarats. If you fail and retry, the number of picarats you earn will be permanently reduced, so it pays to think before answering. Up to three hints are available for each puzzle, but to see them, you'll need to find hint coins hidden in the village. Since there are a limited number of coins, it's best to save them for Leighton's toughest stumpers. The game's difficult exercises induce an overwhelming temptation to search for the answers online, but if you're able to solve a particularly tough challenge on your own, the sense of accomplishment is worth avoiding the easy way out. <laughs> Professor Layton features a very distinctive art style that looks charmingly old-fashioned and brings life to the game's oddball characters. Animated cutscenes highlight important events, and they look gorgeous on the handheld despite a few compression artifacts. The accordion-laced soundtrack and excellent voice work also do a great job of transporting players into Leighton's world. We seek access to the tower. 
Do you think you could help us, miss? Heightened feelings of success or shame as players solve or fail puzzles. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Professor Layton and the Curious Village gives players a demanding array of problems to solve and draws them into a fascinating mystery with a charismatic cast of characters. If you truly want to put your brain to work and have tired of strings of simple math problems or Sudoku, this is the game for you.